Hi guys, Julia here from JM Squared Vintage. Welcome back to the channel. I, uh, I've got a little bit of a new angle going on here. I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, the symmetry lover in me does not love that I don't have my like balanced prints going behind me, but also the person who hates glare in me is very happy because we don't have the reflection of the light or the window in those same prints. So we are trying this on for size. Um, allows me to get a little bit more natural light, which I like. I think that makes the clothes look a little bit better as well. But let me know what you think. I think I like it thus far. So let me know. Let me know in the comments below. But I am here today with a great bins haul. And I gotta say, like, I don't know if you watched last week's haul, and if you didn't, you should. I will link it down below. It was insane. I mean, I had to peel myself out of there after like two hours. It, I mean, it was, everything was good. There were very few even like bread and butter pieces. Everything was a bolo brand. And I always take those, those kind of weeks with a little bit of gratitude because I know that another time I'm gonna have a rough week. And this was one of those weeks. I went to another one of my locations uh, within driving distance that's a dollar a piece. And it was mobbed and when I got there in the parking lot there were five or six big white vans um, and they were from Mexico. I think. We are of course in Southern California so we're pretty close to the border and I would imagine that they come over and they source from there and they go back and they sell. Either they're selling in stores there or they're just turning it into you know buying for one dollar and selling it for two. Uh, but either way I mean they were just grabbing everything in the bins like I really had to like fight to get anything in my hands I think I was there five or six hours and I and I do have I think 35 pieces I needed a smaller week I am playing catch up right now um and I I still found incredible things I'm very lucky I did but it was I'll tell you it was an energetically tough week <laughs> this week it was uh yeah I left there and I was like Whew, I need to not talk to anybody for like a good four hours. <laughs> like, you know, just my social battery was completely kaput. But uh, if you are new here, first and foremost, welcome. Welcome aboard. I am Julia. We talk all things thrifting and vintage and reselling on the internet here. If that is something that you are into, be sure to hit subscribe down below. I would love to have you along on this journey. We're building this incredible community. We have a lot of fun. So join us, follow along, share your finds in the comments. You know I'm such a nerd about them and I love to hear about the things that you find. But without further ado guys, let's get in to the hall. Go grab a drink, go grab a snack and let's get into the goods. So let's get started with the few things that I found that are not like clothing. Um, this one I, I truly and honestly can't, I can't believe I found this. Now if you have been following me for any amount of time I think my love for linen is absolutely evident. Good quality linen is just the stuff that my dreams are made of. I want to cover myself in it. I want to wear nothing but linen. I want to sleep in nothing but linen. <laughs> and what in the bins. So this is a French linen duvet cover from the citizenry. And I kid you not, this is brand new. This has never even been out of the bag. Now obviously like, I don't know if I'm gonna sell this. I have a couple linen duvets. I love them. I rotate them. I could always use another one, but these retail for $309. This is a size King, California King, which is what I would need. I think on the resale market they go anywhere between one and two hundred dollars so I might just do that uh, because I do already have very similar linen duvets in in uh, in the rotation but guys I got this for a dollar this is a fantastic brand this is one of the higher end uh, direct-to-consumer sheet companies and something if you're looking to indulge in a pair of sheets which I wholeheartedly support. Um, I have recommendations. Do feel free. If you want my recommendations, let me know in the comments below because I am a sheet fanatic. But uh, the citizenry is super high end. Again, $309 for a duvet cover. And I got this for a dollar and I almost wept. <laughs> Listen, I can find all the vintage pieces I want and don't get me wrong. Like I am, I literally have one on a dress form She's here. She's right here. I have one on the dress form right here. But, you know, betting is the way to my heart. I mean, I just, I can't, 
I can't even believe something like this. Again, brand new, in the bins of all things. I don't know if this was a raw donation or what, but again, just brand new. Next up, and right after I grabbed that, I found this little guy. I saw this tag and I recognized it. That's Cezanne, which is, if you are not hip to Cezanne, get hip to Cezanne. Cezanne is like classic, beautifully made clothing with a very French twist. It always sells for a very good price. I mean, they're not, they're not in that like Saks Fifth Avenue where a sweater is $500, $600, like a sweater is probably just under $200, which don't get me wrong is incredibly expensive, but they will resell higher than most like Saks Fifth Avenue brands, uh, just because they're very high in demand. They're very classic. Again, construction is fantastic, but Cezanne, I love it. One of my favorite brands personally. Um, and I, you know, this, this bag has a little bit of wear to one of the corners, which I don't really mind. I might just keep this for myself. I could always use a big tote bag. Uh, but if you ever do find one in the bins or while you're outsourcing to give you a bit of an idea of resale, these will resell anywhere between $20 and $50. Some go up to like $70. And this is just a nice good size. This actually reminds me, um, I don't know if anybody's ever had that aloe bag that you get from aloe yoga if you spend over X amount of dollars. I had one and I literally wore it until like I used it until it fell apart and this is about the same size so this might just be the replacement this is the kind of thing that I take like shipments to the post office in like I use them every day that was a great find like I said I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep this for myself but uh, just for your own knowledge if you are out shopping or if this is something that you are into they're very like beautiful totes they're well made Cezanne bag very pumped about that this one I grabbed because it looked so interesting and I didn't know what it was I thought maybe it was like a little trinket box um, and this is, as it turns out, what is called a pillow purse. Now, I want to say this is from like the 30s or the 40s. It's brass. It's kind of like engraved brass. Let me see if I can get you up close so you can see the detail on that. And it's got a little clasp with a blue velvet lining. Now, when I got it home and I started looking, because again, at first I thought that this was just like a trinket box. It is not. It's a purse and it's missing its chain. So I'm going to give this to one of you guys. If this is something that you guys want, um, one of you guys are interested in, leave me a comment down below. I will randomly pick one of you to send this to. I have to figure out how to like safely get your address to me and everything, but uh, just leave me a comment down below and I will figure that all out after filming. But I just hope one of you guys does something cool with it or can like maybe get a chain or put a strap on it, you know, just like send me pictures of you wearing it because nerd alert. Okay, now we're into the clothes. First up here is this cute dress from a brand called Soul Angeles. This is for sure a brand to be on the lookout for. They are a swimmer, bl swimmer brand, very high end, um, really nice quality. Like again, I picked this up, you know, it's just like a little jersey dress that's tiered. I don't know if you can kind of see that, there you go. It's about a midi length, but I had recognized that little logo. That's their logo. They kind of work it into like all of their pieces. Sometimes they turn this into like a pattern. Um, you know, these sell for like a hundred, maybe a little bit more uh, retail. So I'll probably see 30, $35 on this, maybe a little bit more because uh, they don't make the midi length anymore. It is an extra small, but it is a generous size and in fantastic condition. Don't mind the caffeine break, guys. It's necessary. Next up here, now I will say like, again, this was a kind of a tough day. So earlier on in the day, uh, when it just didn't feel like I was gonna be getting anything, I was grabbing Zara pieces left and right. A little bit more in the, in the bread and butter department this week than I was last week, but some interesting things and some kind of things to talk about when, they, when I pull these up. This is a cute little sweater from Zara. This is like a cotton, like thin knit, and I will tell you that this is a size small, so you can understand how oversized width-wise this is. Little cream sweater. Now, one of the trending styles last year was what they call eclectic grandpa. Fun fact. Um, and it is exactly what it sounds like, an eclectic grandpa. So these kind of like leisure shirts, this is very much trending into this year, so just be on the lookout for it. Use the use the keywords in your listings, especially if you do sell on Depop, because that's the kind of place where people will look for more of those like core styles. Um, but this is very eclectic grandpa. This is something that somebody will wear. It'll be nice and oversized. It's a definite crop. I'll probably get somewhere between 25 and 35 on this. These kind of like 
classic but still very trend pieces like this is a classic style but with a trend silhouette they sell very very well for me next up now this is vintage for sure i saw this and i'm like i feel like i saw somebody wearing this in like my eighth grade dance in the 90s this is definitively from the 90s this is a dress from express and check out this tag girls around my age you're gonna recognize that express world style was a world brand <laughs> i think that i think that they stopped doing that back in like 96 or so but this just is so 90s it's this pretty like dusty purple net over satin and there's like two or three layers of the net if you look up close it's got these sequins that are kind of in between they're like sandwiched in between the pieces of net it's really pretty like I could see any girl wearing this right now and making it a whole look and this is in like perfect condition if I have to guess this was somebody's like dress that they wore for a dance back in the 90s and it's just been in their closet you know maybe even in plastic for 25 years so um size 7 8 super cute and like i said this is brand new condition barely looks worn at all so like i said i'm pretty sure that that was just somebody's dance dress next up a little bread and butter piece this is actually from world market and i gotta tell you i've bought and sold a couple of these little kimonos from world market and they go pretty quick but the main reason i got this is the colors I love this periwinkle blue and I love that it has like real kimono sleeves I mean these aren't like real kimono sleeves but um, it's like not open here but they have the drape like a real kimono sleeve and just so you guys know I don't know if you follow this but the Pantone color of the year if you need an explanation on Pantone let me know down below I'll, I'll go a little bit more into detail into who they are and what they do um, but for the past I don't know 10 or 15 years they've been doing like a color of the year and they work with trend forecasters which is something that like i am personally very interested in and the color of the year for this year is fuzzy peach so be on the lookout for these kind of colors because they're going to be selling like crazy like i have a feeling that this summer is going to be the summer of peach and it works really well because peach looks great on tan skin so um, i you know probably 15 bucks on this this will probably be a bundle piece um, but like I said, I grabbed it because I loved the colors and I loved the silhouette and I know it'll go because of those things. I also will say they do make very nice velvet kimonos if you can find them. Again, you're not going to get Johnny Was prices on them, but you will get probably closer to 30 bucks. Next up, this cute, I love this. This is a cute like heavyweight cotton blend sweater from Anthropology, and it's by their by Anthropology line. That's what the tag looks like. Anything I've ever had with that tag goes super quick. Um, not quite sure why. I don't know if it's in demand or if it's just their styles tend to be very, very classic, uh, but definitely something to be on the lookout for. So it's just like a chunky rib knit sweater. It's got these like heavy cuffs, which I don't know a person in the world who doesn't love a chunky, heavy cuff. Um, it's just a very classic silhouette and it's hooded with a little V neck in perfect condition, navy blue. I'll probably see 35 bucks on this I think without batting an eye and I if I have to guess this will sell quickly it's one of those styles that is great for the winter because it's a chunky knit sweater but it's also great for the summer because somebody will get this and they'll throw it on over their swimsuit or they'll throw it on you know at night at the beach uh, for a little to get the chill out so great find next up here we've got another Zara piece but this is a pretty midi dress in 100% linen with a little split in the front a little knot in the front a little v-neck it's a size large which i love um you know it's in great shape and linen from zara does move for me pretty quickly i'll probably see 35 bucks for this and again i think it'll sell fairly quickly it might sell a little bit slower than something like this sweater um just by the fact that it is sleeveless and sleeveless and linen but guys remember people have spring break coming up people have uh you know vacations coming up start to get those summer pieces prepped and listed if you have been holding on to them through the summer season you'll see it all happening in the stores like if you go to the stores right now you're not going to find much winter stuff it's all going to be spring and summer so now is the time for you to start getting your stuff going as well especially i find that people shop online like if they're going on vacation that is like a prime time to shop secondhand because a lot of the things are like you know maybe not something that they're going to wear all the time they're buying a swim cover-up they're buying like 
a floaty dress like this that doesn't necessarily work much in their day-to-day -day life, but it is something that they'll wear out to dinner. You know, that's a perfect time for somebody to get something secondhand because they're not gonna wear it a ton and they don't wanna drop a ton of money on it. So um, I always do really well a vacation season. Anyway, my two cents, that's what works for me, but just something to keep in mind as you're sourcing, as you're listing, as you're going about your work, if, if you do what I do. Next up, another one of my favorite brands to find. This is a men's piece. This is from Rails. Another just high, high, high quality basics brand. Um, and this is a men's shirt. It's like a lightweight kind of almost feels like linen, but it has a look like linen, but it's not linen. But it's that kind of like gauzy, gauzy cotton. It's a 2XL, super basic, light blue, perfect condition. This is something that I think I'll go 35 bucks or so maybe a little bit more um, I've never really moved a ton of rails men stuff I don't find a ton of rails men stuff which tells me that it probably stay you know they're basics they stay in people's closets for a long time so i um, interested to see how this does I'll try to report back when it does sell but you know with my history with rails my experience has always been great uh, buying and selling it so definitely something I'm excited to find Next up, this is one that I went on gut for. So I felt this, and this is gonna be hard to show. Uh, this is all wool. Like I felt it and I knew it was wool. And it's this kind of interesting long line cardigan. And the top has this like gathered, I don't know how much this detail is showing up on camera. It's kind of like an exaggerated collar with a little bit of a, can you see that? It's got kind of like tucks in it, like oversized pin tucks. And then the construction itself, let me see if you can see any of that seaming. Do you see how it's like a, a lot of seams that kind of come down into a flare? And it's in great condition. So, and it's belted with an attached belt. So I, it, it felt to me like something that you would see in Anthro or Free People. So I grabbed it. Again, it's wool. It'll sell probably on the style alone. This will be something that looks a lot better once it's up on the mannequin than it does in my hand. But I got it home and I ran the RN number and the like. There, there's only a one tag. It says that it's wool and it's got an RN number and it says dry clean. That's it. There's no OB, which I think is typically what is seen on Free People. So I'm thinking that this might be anthropology. The RN number came up Urban Outfitters, which could be anything from Urban Outfitters to one of the anthropology brands, could be Leif's daughter, could be Maeve, could be whatever, um, could be Free People or any one of the Free People brands. Typically with Free People, you'll see an OB number as well as the RN number. I'm not quite sure what the OB number is. Sometimes you can Google it and you'll find like the exact style of what you're looking for. But all I know is that this is one of the urban family <laughs> of brands and um, it's super cute and super basic. I think that's about a size medium. I'll have to do measurements on that because all the tags are ripped out around the collar. Next up here, speaking of fuzzy peach, are these cute little linen shorts from Athleta. There's the tag there. They are a size 10, which is a great size to find. They have this nice, like, thick pull-on waistband, lots of pockets, like real pockets you can put stuff in with a little cuffed silhouette. These will move in no time flat, probably somewhere between 25 and 35 bucks on these. Um, Athleta shorts sell really well for me, depending on the season. So again, we're coming up on that spring break season. People are gonna have a tan, they're gonna look great in that color. Not me, I never tan. Next up, now this is an exciting find. And I like, I don't know how much you can see of the like detail on this shirt, but this is from 3.1 Philip Lim which is an incredibly high-end designer. That's the label there. Um, it is an extra small, and let me see if I can, will this show up here? So this is like a double layer t-shirt, and it's got this kind of shredded, like second layer on top of it. This makes a lot more sense once it's on. This will definitely be something I have to photograph on the, um, on the mannequin, but I gotta say, it, like it looks destroyed, but it's not, like everything's covered. And I, you know, this is probably a $225 white t-shirt. And man, can you feel the difference in the fabric. It is just so, so nice. But when I found this, I don't know if you can tell. So like the bottom is kind of rolled over, right? Like there's no hem here. It kind of, it's all one piece. And when I found it, 
it was kind of twisted sideways so that literally on the bottom like if you were to feel on the bottom you wouldn't feel like the hole <laughs> where the rest of the, where you're you know you're supposed to be able to put it on and like it goes over your body cool little piece probably i mean it's still just a plain white tee so probably somewhere between 25 and 35 bucks on this it's an extra small but it is a really cool piece and i hope somebody snaps this up and loves it and gets a good deal on something that would otherwise be 225 dollars next up so i grabbed these jeans this is by um the brand is karmar and Karmar, you might be familiar with Karmar. They they got famous a couple years ago by selling what they call the thong jeans, which were literally jeans that were just like, literally only side seams. And then they had like a strip of fabric that connected the side seams. And then they had like the bottom hem. Uh, if you Google Karmar thong jeans, you will probably recognize what I was talking about. Anyway, they're really high-end denim brand. They mostly did skinnies. These are not skinnies. These are more of like a straight leg. The fit on these kind of reminds me of, what is it, the, the Levi's wedgie jeans. It's a very similar fit to that. So kind of straight leg, a little bit relaxed. It's got a little bit of distressing, but these are in great shape. I mean, when you can always tell when you have a black jean how much, especially a rigid jean, like these don't have any stretch. You can always tell like how much they've been worn because black rigid jeans will start to wash out over time. These feel pretty much brand new. I'm not quite sure what I get. Most of the ones that you see on the resale market are skinnies. Uh, so probably, I, th I think these retail for about $200. I'll probably see somewhere between 30 and 50 for them. Pretty pumped, they're size 32, which is a great 30 comma two. <laughs> which is a great size to find, not a size 32. Next up here, this is a great little sundress from Soft Surroundings. So cute, super floaty, adjustable straps, which I love to see. Of course, Soft Surroundings does adjustable straps. It's just like a lightweight kind of rayon sundress with a cute little navy blue pattern. There is no size in this. Eyeballing this, I'm gonna guess that's about a size extra large, maybe a large. Nope, I think extra large. Um, but a great little piece, you know, I'll probably see this will be a good bundle piece somewhere between 15 and 25 on this because it is a, just a sweet little piece, but nice little find. I haven't been finding much soft surroundings recently. Next up here, this is an anthropology brand called Meadow Rue and Meadow Rue does these kind of like, I don't want to say over the top cause it's not over the top, but these just kind of like heavily ornate pieces. Um, with this embroidery and the pin tucking and the gauze. This is a little high-low tank. And they just, this brand in particular from Anthropology, and I liken this to like Guinevere. There's another brand that they have called Guinevere. They have a pretty devoted following. So while this is not, you know, necessarily like a trend piece right now, this is something that will go because there are girls for whom like this kind of fairy core, ethereal, like nymph in the woods, is very much their style and that's who Meadow Rue designs for. That very specific style. And the quality is always really beautiful. Like this feels brand new, but it is very well made and their like embellishment is, in my opinion, at Anthropology second to none in terms of the Anthropology brands. Really, really beautiful. Next up, this is a fun find. This is a little um, Free People 1 sequin skirt. It's got those kind of like two-sided sequins on them that I just can't stop playing with. I know that they made them on all the kids' pillows and stuff, but um, adult Julia also loves them. <laughs> but if you look closely, the sequins on the outside are kind of camo. And I just thought this was so cute. Like, I never find Free People sequin pieces. Uh, now this isn't one of like their kind of over the top boho pieces that you know still like that'll resell for two or three hundred dollars uh, because that's a real deal like if you find a, an embellished like silk beaded or silk sequined like kimono from free people that will resell for two or three hundred dollars without batting an eye this will probably get you know somewhere between 25 and 35 um maybe a little bit more because it is sequined but i just thought that was so cute size small so so cute so next up, this is something that I grabbed as I was like putting my putbacks back into the bin and I saw the little logo sticking out, which I love to see it. 
little Lululemon pair of leggings and I grabbed it and the fabric is New Lux, which is my personal favorite. Like, I love the Align fabric for like everyday wear and lounging about, but when it comes to working out, like this New Lux fabric is my jam. I do not have a thigh gap, so anything with like a brushed finish is going to pill like crazy. Um, and this just has a lot of slip. They kind of feel like the Align fabric, but with a little bit more slip to the fabric. I, there, there are people that are much better at describing and discerning the fabrics of Lululemon stuff, but that is my two cents. Um, and if you look at the side piece, I don't know how much of this is gonna show. Can you kind of see? It's got like a little bit of like a lattice pattern there. And it's all still that New Luxe fabric on the top cutout. Super cute, they are a size two. They still have like the tag inside, so I don't think they've been worn much. Like they not only still have the tag here, but it doesn't feel like it's been washed much. So I'm assuming that these have not been worn much. Probably, this this would have been a pair. The New Luxe pants are always north of $100. These were probably the $128 with the embellishment on the side. Um, probably somewhere around 40 bucks for this, maybe a little bit more if they're like an in-demand style. They are all black and they are full length. They're not 7 eighths. Um, 7 eighths are kind of on their way out just for all of you crops or the ones that are gonna sell the slowest. 7 eighths, a little bit slower. Full length is what people are looking for now and of course flare. Next up, this cute little tensile like chambray dress from Cloth and Stone. This is one of those things, there was a dress from Zara a couple years back that was like a chambray, it had like a ruffle across, and it went completely viral. I want to say that was one of like their their first blogger favorites. Um, but I have bought and sold a hundred <laughs> of these like tensile uh, little shirt dresses and they always sell. These are always going to be popular in the summer. They just look classic. They're super clean. They're an easy one-piece wonder. This is a size medium. Cloth and Stone is an anthropology brand so it's a great, uh, you know, great quality. There's pockets, a little bit of wearing. This kind of looks like, to me, Frank and Eileen has a shirt dress that goes for, no lie, I want to say like $368 and this kind of gives me that same feel. Um, so this will probably resell 25 to 35 again anthro just doesn't sell for what it used to but it does still sell so if you are able to source for the right price either you're going to the bins or you have find a dollar day at your local store grab them they will move but be sure to use all the keywords in your arsenal for them that's very important next up I got another pair of these little 2xu pants these are men's uh, like kind of run shorts. I had several people reach out after I um, showed the 2, 2XU leggings last week saying how much they love them, how you know they last forever, they're really good quality. So I haven't even gotten the other ones listed yet, but I grabbed these. Um, interested to see how they do. I see some of the sold comps in the $60 range. I see some sold comps in the $20 range. Either way, you know, for what I'm sourcing them for, that's a perfectly fine um, profit. It might matter a little bit more to you if you are sourcing it $5, $6, $10, whatever. Um, so I'll try to report back when they do sell. So TBD. Next up, speaking of Lululemon, I just grabbed this. It's like a little sports bra. It's a size 12. Sports bras don't sell quite as fast for me as the leggings do um, or the sweatshirts. The sweatshirts right now for me are selling like hotcakes, but this is a size 12 and anything in a larger size from Lululemon does tend to sell really well for me because it will sell out a little bit quicker. Um, super cute, just like the little aligned fabric, very simple little racer back, kind of low support. This is probably more of like a yoga bra than anything. Um, 15 bucks on that probably. Next up, another little Zara piece. And I gotta say, these kind of overalls sell anything with an overall top like this that's a little like artsy fartsy feels a little lot log and look um, anything like this sells super quickly for me these are kind of like a dark gray stone wash this is a linen tensile blend um, so they have a nice drape to them size, would be size medium so that's a good size um, probably 35 to 45 dollars on these maybe a little bit more um, and I'm gonna guess that these will move very very quickly for me really great find. Uh, I rarely walk away from a one piece. Next up is a cute pair of jeans. These are cut from the cloth. I, you know, I don't pick these up as much as I used to. This is 
that's kind of the label you're looking for. Either that or you're looking for the badge here on the back. Um, I don't pick these up as much as I used to, but these seem to be a kind of on trend. These are like a straight leg with a cuff, um, but they're a size 10 uh, with a little bit of distressing and a lower waist, which much to my chagrin is coming back in right now. The work we did, the work we did, so th these kids never had to put on a low rise jean again, but here we are. I'm gonna stick to my high waisted all day. Um, probably, I don't know, 25 or 35 bucks on these. Like I said, cut from the cloth is not something that I would pick up um, all the time unless you're getting it for like a really great price. But I would kind of avoid any kind of skinnies from there because they're just they're just gonna sit in your closet for a long time. Next up, this was a cute little find. I love this color. This is a cute little free people, like an intimately free people top. Little cropped action here with a crisscross back. Let me see if I can show this in a way. Something that'll look much better once you have it on the uh, once you have it on the mannequin. But it's got these kind of like wide bands that crisscross on the back and then tie at the bottom. This does n this is not a drawstring, so these don't tighten with this bow. Only the bottom will. Um, but it's pretty small, so it's going to be stretched no matter what when you put it on. It'll be nice and kind of snatched. And this is a size small of uh, intimately free people stuff sells pretty well for me. So I'll probably see maybe 20, 25 bucks on this. Super cute. And it is a sweater knit. This isn't like a jersey knit. This is a nice kind of like heavier weight sweater knit in this pretty burnt orange color. Next up, another anthro piece. This is one I found kind of early on. Again, I was just trying to get what I could. These are Daughters of the Liberation. Cute little like linen blend cream trousers. They're cropped, they're straight legged. They're in great condition. I cannot seem to find the size on these. Wait. Yeah, no size tag. If any of you guys know if there's like a hidden place to find size tags in Daughters of the Liberation, let me know. I'm gonna guess these are probably about a size four or six. Just a nice little kind of basic pair of pants here. Again, I'll probably see between $20 and $30 on these. Next up, now this is one that when I got home, I realized that I had not comped it at all <laughs> in the store. I was just kind of like in a frenzy and in a rush to get out the door. I, I was very frazzled by the time I left and I just completely forgot to comp this. And uh, now I own it. This brand is called Leif Nelson, and I'd never heard of it before, but the quality on this is so nice. Like it's this kind of slub French terry. Let's see if I can get you up close so you can see the texture on that. So it's a slub French terry and then it's got this like kind of moto style tucking up here on the shoulders. Um, you know, again, the quality is really, really nice. And it turns out, you know, it's a streetwear designer, I'm assuming from somewhere in Scandinavia. This is made in Turkey, so you know it's made with like the best of the best cotton. It's a size large just black. I don't know. Um, they don't retail. I mean, they, they re this will, this would retail for probably about a hundred bucks. I'm not quite sure. There's not a lot on the resale market. What this will retail, like resale for probably somewhere 20 to 30 bucks. I'm interested to see cause it's just a really unusual top, but again, the quality is gorgeous. So if this is something, if this is a style that you're like into, or a guy in your life, this is obviously a men's shirt, if a, or a guy in your life is into, um, check out this brand, because it's not over the top expensive and the quality is top notch, top notch. Now next up, I almost like squealed when I found this, and you will notice that there's a little bit of like water spotting on here, but that is nothing that I can't handle. Um, <laughs> I've had my own jackets that are white in far worse condition after a nasty spill during pond skimming one year. Um, we'll never uh, talk about that again. Um, anyway, so I saw that logo and I freaked out. So this is a brand called Fire and Ice, but what that B stands for is Bogner. And if you are not in any way involved in the ski world, you might not know what Bogner is, but Bogner is like pretty much the cream of the crop ski gear. And when I say cream of the crop, I'm talking well over a thousand dollars for a jacket. Um, <laughs> like well over a thousand dollars. Some of their pieces go, 
into the twos and into the threes. Fire and Ice is one of their sub brands. I think it's, I don't want to call it necessarily a diffusion brand, but it's a little bit more kind of slope to street focused brand that they have. It's every bit as expensive. This was probably a four or five hundred dollar uh, vest. Like I said, there is a little bit of like water spotting on here. And um, I'm going to do a wash with my Nick Wax Tech Wash. I know I've mentioned this before, but if you are new here, um, if you are thinking about doing any kind of outerwear or anything that involves like a technical fabric with a DWR, a durable water resistance rating, um, hiking pants, whatever, I'm going to urge you to pick up Nick Wax Tech Wash. So basically a DWR is a membrane that goes over the fabric, right? And that is what keeps, it's like a membrane that keeps the moisture out but still allows moisture to release from your skin. That's how Gore-Tex really works. So the Nick Wax, you don't want, you don't want to use traditional detergents with that because traditional detergents have surfactants that are so strong that it'll start to disturb the membrane. Like never ever wash Gore-Tex with Tide. I'm a Tide girl, I use Tide on everything. Please don't ever put Gore-Tex in with Tide. Grab this Tech Wash. It has a surfactant that is safe for the membranes and it'll add a little bit to the membrane. So it kind of like refreshes it. So for my ski gear and any kind of like wet weather gear that I have, I'll sometimes do a wash like once a year just to kind of like refresh that barrier. Um, I've had my bottle and I use it a lot. Like I'm, I resell a lot of this stuff. I've had my bottle for probably two or three years. I will link it down below. Um, it's worth the 10 bucks or whatever. I think it's only like 10 bucks. It's worth the 10 bucks if you in any way sell this stuff or you have any kind of wet weather gear that you use. If you're up in the Pacific Northwest and you have a lot of rain gear, if you're a skier, if your kids have snow pants, whatever the case may be, grab a bottle of this. It's worth it. That's a great find. So definitely, 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 definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Next up here, this was a cool find. Oh, where's the top? This was a cool find. I felt this and I'm like, this feels like a very nice knit. Sure enough, it's silk and cotton. So that explains that beautiful drape to it. But this is a cute little free people piece. It's like an oversized cardigan. It's got a, like a little fringe to it. Again, that like chunky, heavy cuff. I can't remember the name of this. I was able to find it while I was like checking it into my inventory, but probably somewhere in the 35 to $45 range. I love finding a chunky sweater from Free People. They do move very well for me. And with this being a really significant um, textile, being that silk cotton blend, it'll move extra quick. Definitely something that looks better on the mannequin than it does in my hands, but an exciting find. This was another one that I found kind of late in the day. Next up, now this was an interesting one. I have personally a couple pieces from this company and they are pretty expensive. I'm not quite sure how this is gonna do, but the brand is called Junk Food. And Junk Food collabs with different like IP. So they have Disney stuff, the nostalgic type stuff. But I found this cute little dress. This is a lightweight French terry. Um, it does have like a little bit of a lipstick stain, which I can easily get out. Um, but it's a cute like little beach dress popover with a little mini mouse right there. I'm, I'm going to guess that this retailed for over $100 because again, junk food is expensive. Like their t-shirts are like 45, 50 bucks. Um, and they use really nice textiles. So, you know, I, I, I know why they charge so much, but um, they're very expensive. So I'm interested to see how this does. I've never picked one of these for resale. So I've picked one or two for myself for personal use, but uh, we'll find out. I'm gonna guess maybe somewhere between 20 and $35, but um, just going on the price of a lot of junk food stuff, it could easily be a little bit more. So I will try to report back when that does move. Next up is this cute little dress from Lily Pulitzer and it wasn't until I got home that I caught the little Target the little Target symbol on there. Lily Pulitzer did a collab with Target. It did sell out very quickly and some of those pieces still can resell very very well. Um, but I just thought this was so cute. I mean this will go just on the adorableness of it alone. It's all linen, it's fully lined, the quality is great, it's a size small, size 6 to 6x, six um, you know probably 20 bucks on that, I, you know just based on the style. It's so so cute. 
But guys, don't forget if there is a if there is a designer that has collabed with Target, be sure to check those tags. Let me the, be the one who learned the lesson for you before you drop you know five or six bucks, kind of at full price on something like that. Next up, now this is a brand I want you to keep on your radar. I grabbed this. I, I'd never heard of the brand before, but um, like the the textile felt really nice. You know that just like that luxury t-shirt feel. And uh, this is from a brand called The Great. Again, I had never heard of it before. It's a size two, so I'm assuming they do that kind of like James Purse sizing, where like one is a small and two is a medium and three is a large. Um, but it, as it turns out, the designers of The Great are the people behind the brand Current Elliott, which is another very high-end brand. Uh, these retail, like their t-shirts are like $90. And, you know, again, beautiful quality. The textile is phenomenal. I don't know if I would pay $100 for it, but um, interested to see how this does in resale. It's got like a little ruffle sleeve. Um, you know, maybe 25 or 35 bucks on this. That would be insane. But uh, for sure, keep your eyes out for that label. Uh, the sweatshirts look like they resell really well. Uh, the basic t-shirts look like they resell really well. Again, this has like a little bit of embellishment, so it might move a little slower, but... Keep an eye out for that brand. And I'll try to report back on how that does. We are getting there, guys. I think we've only got about four more to go. Next up, I grab this because red velvet is always going to go. Red is still red hot. The shame. The shame of that pun. Red is still red hot in fashion right now. And Valentine's Day is coming right around the corner. It's this cute little, this is Zara, right? Yeah, this is a Zara piece, and it's a little bit of an older Zara piece, but it's red velvet, <laughs> so it'll sell. It'll sell. Just a cute little, like, slip dress with little gathers under the bust there. Super cute. It's a size large. Yep, size large. You know, probably 25 to 35 bucks on this. I'll try to get this up ASAP because Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and people are still buying red velvet specifically for Valentine's Day, but um, if not... If this has to hang until next holiday season, like, I know it'll go. I know it'll go, no problem. That's just, it, it's always a safe bet. Red Velvet is one of those things that, like, if I see it and it's well enough made, I'm just going to get it, because it will sell. Especially if you can find a blazer. Next up, another little Zara piece. This is another little bit of an older Zara piece, um, but I just thought it was so pretty. I just love the multicolor shimmer to these flowers. Um, it's got like a stretch panel in the back for a nice fit. It's just like a little mini dress. What size is this? Small? Yeah, size small. Probably 20 to 25 bucks on this. I just thought it was so pretty. And I know, like I said, this is a little bit of an older piece, but this is just something that is kind of an evergreen style. And like this kind of fabric is always going to be like special. It's always going to be a special touch. Cute little find there. And that's in great condition little bit of like fraying on the on the fabric but that's easy enough to trim up just two more to go this is another zara piece again i was kind of grabbing what i could but i love a little shirt dress this is going to look a lot better once it's been through a little wash and steam cycle got cute little like almost bell sleeves but they're shorts a little button front and i love i love when you have this right so there's a little smocking I don't know how much of that you can see it. So there's smocking, but it's right on the side. So it really like visually does a great job of like snatching in your waist. See how that like sits, you know, even just like holding it up like this, you can see how it snatches right here. And it gives you a little volume here, a little volume here, and it's flat on the front. So you don't have like any kind of lumps and bumps. You have a continuous line on the front, but then you have the snatch on the side. Um, this is a size small little basic little black shirt dress this is a tensile fabric so it's got that nice drape to it 25 bucks all day on this and i think this will go pretty quickly that's a great little closet staple and finally we've got this guy this is another one where i'd never heard of the brand before in my life but i felt the quality and i saw like the details on it and i knew it was something special and it's this beautiful like prairie fantasy dress little fairy type dress and the brand is supernatural by secret mission Get close on that label secret mission is the brand and i believe supernatural is one of their lines they're one of those um design houses that do 
specific named lines. So I'm trying to think of another example right now, and of course I can't think of any, but say this was like their spring 2018 line and the line was supernatural and everything was kind of around this like fairy type silhouette, if you can kind of get that idea. So I believe supernatural was one of their lines and this is just beautiful. I'm not quite sure what this fabric is. It's very floaty. It's, you know, it just everything is very high quality on this. They retail, they're sold at Saks, they're sold at Neiman Marcus, they're sold at Bergdorf, so they are a serious, serious designer to be on the lookout for. They retail between three and $500 for the dresses. Some are a little bit more. I feel like some of their maxi dresses were in the $700 range. I don't see much on the resale market. Um, I'll probably get somewhere between 50 and 100 on this. That's kind of what I've seen, but a very exciting find and so beautiful and definitely a brand to talk about and a brand to bring to you to be sure you have your eyes out for. But that is it guys, that is the haul. I feel like I've been through a war to get this haul. I wish you could have seen me. <laughs> I wish you could have seen me as I came out of the bins yesterday. I mean, you guys usually see me the day after I shop and I'm a little bit well rested. There's like makeup on my face. Um, <laughs> I just walked out of there, it, I was dazed. You know, overstimulated was the word of the day. We'll just leave it at that. Like I was, I was, I was jaggedy all day yesterday, but super happy with the finds I got. You know, again, I had to fight from a little bit. I had to like, you know, really stand my ground and establish my state space, which I urge all of you to do. Don't ever let somebody get into your space um, that you have not invited into your space, but super happy with the pieces. You know, again, it was a tough day, but we found some good stuff. For all you numbers nerds out there, there were 35 pieces, and so I spent $35. The retail value on all of this is about $4,000, which just will never stop blowing my mind. Um, I'm anticipating sales on all of these pieces between $1,000 and $1,100, um, which would leave my profit somewhere between $800 and $900, which for a $35 investment, I'll take it. Um, that would bring my return on investment to about just under 25x, which is a great day. I mean, again, you bring that to any business ever, anywhere in the world, and they're gonna jump at that number. But guys, don't forget, if you want that pillow purse, leave a comment down below. Between right now, when I'm filming this, and when I do publish it, I will figure out a safe way for you to get me your address without it having to be public uh, to ship it out. If there's a lot of people that want it, leave comments. I'll randomly select one of you to send it to. Um, please send pictures. <laughs> Please send pictures. Tag me, tag me on Instagram. If you don't already, um, I do try to put out bigger ship with me hauls uh, when I have enough to make it interesting for you or I have enough interesting pieces to make it interesting to you. But for all the kind of day to day uh, ship with me's that I do, I do put them on my TikTok and on my Instagram. I will insert my uh, handles right here. Do follow me along. The links will be down below as well. But guys, thank you so much for hanging with me. You have no idea how much it means to me to have like other people in the world that are into the same thing uh, that I am into. It just like makes my heart so happy to like no end. You have no idea. I just, I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. If you had fun, uh, don't forget to hit like on this video. That really helps me out. Of course, don't forget to hit subscribe. I would love to have you along on the journey. Hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every time I publish. But without further ado, guys, have the most incredible week. Happy hunting. Let me know what finds you find. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.